about 140 million tonnes of ammonia is made per year worldwide. It is used in the manufacture of explosives, for dye making, for preparing medicines and in the production of fertiliser. Ammonia is made by first reacting natural gas, mainly methane, CH4, with steam to form hydrogen in the primary reformer. In the secondary reformer, air is added to the gas stream. The carbon dioxide is then removed by dissolving it in alkali. In the converter, the remaining hydrogen and nitrogen from the air are combined to produce ammonia. The uncombined gases are recycled to the converter. Ammonia is either stored or piped directly from the site. This plant is situated close to other chemical plants where much of the ammonia is used. This is the primary reformer and this is the secondary reformer. Carbon dioxide is absorbed from the gas stream in these towers. Nitrogen and hydrogen are combined here in the converter. Natural gas, which is about 90% methane, is piped from the North Sea and fed to the plant through a pipeline. The other raw materials are water and air. Air is drawn in from the atmosphere. It is filtered and compressed here. Natural gas contains sulphur compounds, which are removed in this desulphurizer. The sulphur-free gas is piped to the primary reformer, where it reacts with the steam. The reaction requires a nickel-based catalyst, and this is heated by the natural gas burners in the reformer. The reaction in the reformer produces heat. Methane and steam react to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Some carbon monoxide reacts further with the steam to form carbon dioxide and more hydrogen. The stream of hydrogen and oxides of carbon passes to the secondary reformer. Heated air is fed to the stream of gas and this converts any remaining methane into carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide would poison the catalyst used for conversion to ammonia. The carbon dioxide is removed and sold for making fizzy drinks and as a coolant in nuclear power stations. The gas stream with hydrogen and nitrogen in the ratio 3 to 1 is fed to the ammonia converter. The converter operates at a pressure of 200 atmospheres and a temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius to convert nitrogen and hydrogen to ammonia. The reaction is reversible and uses an iron-based catalyst. The conversion vessel contains beds of this catalyst. The mixture of hydrogen and nitrogen in the ratio of 3 to 1 feeds in at the top. About 15% of the mixture is converted to ammonia. The hot gas stream containing ammonia, hydrogen and nitrogen, is cooled to about minus 10 degrees Celsius and compressed. Ammonia condenses out as a liquid. The remaining nitrogen and hydrogen are recycled back to the converter with fresh gas mixture. This is the control room of the plant. Ammonia can be transported in tankers as a liquid under pressure or piped to nearby plants.